Bonjour tout le monde. J'espère que vous allez bien. Our today's topic is Pourquoi apprendre le français? Why apprendre means to learn. Le français means French. Why to learn French? And this is lesson number 10 in Mon Passport part 2. And now we are starting to read the lesson. On attaque. J'apprends le français pour voyage dans les pays francophones. J'apprends means I learn. Le français, French, I'm learning French. Pour voyager, to travel. Normally, pour means for, but here pour means to. When pour is followed by a verb, pour becomes to. So, to travel. To voyage, to travel. And uh, dans les pays francophones. In, dans means in. Les pays francophones means in francophone countries. Moi, j'apprends le français pour lire des romans français. Moi means me. J'apprends, I learn. I'm learning. Français, French, pour lire, to read, des romans français, French novels. J'apprends le français pour trouver plus facilement du travail. J'apprends means I learn. Le français, French, I'm learning French, pour trouver, to find, plus facilement, easily, du travail, work. I learn French to find the work easily. J'apprends pour faire des amis sur internet. J'apprends means I'm learning pour faire to make des amis friends sur internet on internet. J'apprends le français pour étudier dans mon dans, dans une université en en France. J'apprends I'm learning le français French pour étudier to study dans in une université in a university in France. J'apprends le français parce que je voudrais vivre en France. J'apprends I'm learning le français French. I'm learning French parce que because je voudrais I would like vivre to live en France in France. Moi j'apprends le français simplement pour le plaisir. J'apprends, I'm learning, le français, French, simplement, simply, pour le plaisir, for my pleasure, for the pleasure. J'apprends le français parce que j'aime les langues étrangères. J'apprends, I learn, le français, French, I'm learning French, parce que, because, j'aime, I like, les langues étrangères, foreign languages. And this is the vocabulary which you need to learn. Okay. Quels sont les raisons pour donner par ces étudiants pour apprendre les français notez-les. Notez ici. So they are asking what are the reasons which the French, which the students have given. Why are they learning French? You have to note the ideas here. Okay. Now, pourquoi apprenez-vous le français? Why are you learning French? So, there are so many ideas. You can use any. You can write any. You want to live in France or you want to go to learn French. Uh, you want to go, uh, I mean, you want to do your studies in French university. You want to travel in Francophone country or you want to, uh, and or you think that you will get uh, work easily when you learn French. Anything you can write. Grammar. Pourquoi and pour. What is the difference between pourquoi and pour. Pourquoi is a question. Pourquoi means why. So pour is to. Pour is followed by a noun or an infinitive form. Pourquoi plus subject. Uh, je vais en France pour travailler. I am going to France for work. To work. Je vais en France pour le travail. I am going to France for the work or to work 
for the work here work is a noun so for the work but here work is a, a verb so to work and third thing is pask we have seen in the lesson in the text it was written pask pask means because pask is followed by a whole sentence je vais en france parce que j'ai du travail i have some work so pask is followed by a whole sentence and pour is followed by a verb pourquoi apprendre apprend tu le français why are you learning french je apprends le français pour étudier en france i'm learning french to study in france je apprends le français pour les études i learn i'm learning french for the studies je apprends le français parce que je vais étudier en france i'm learning french because i want to work in france and uh, now there are some verbs vivre suivre and survivre these are similar verbs you have to remove v r e and v i is our base v i s v i s v i t for e or l for no v i and then v o n s v v i v e z e or l v i v e n t this is vivre verb suivre verb je suis s u i s tu suis s u i s it is like vivre e or l suis s u i and t no suivo s u i v o n s we vu suive s u i v e z e or l suiv s u i v e n t surviv is also like vivre you have to add sur before vivre i mean before the conjugation so v i s and add sur before that v i s add sur v i t add sur v i v o n s add sur v i v e z add sur v i v e n t add sure before that it is like vivre verb only you need to add sure before that so now it's time to do the grammar exercises répondez aux questions pourquoi vas tu à l'école why do you go to school i go to school to study je vais à l'école pour étudier pourquoi travailles-tu why do you work je travaille pour gagner de l'argent Tu as une somme money. Pourquoi apprends-tu le français? Uh, ok, j'apprends le français. I'm learning French. Parce que je voudrais. aller au france so you can give anything because we have seen many sentences why are you learning french pourquoi portes tu un parapluie why are you having a carrying a an umbrella uh, je porte un parapluie parce que euh, il pleut dehors il pleut dehors it's raining outside pourquoi regardes tu le film français why are you watching french movie uh, je regarde le film français
parce que uh, I like French films. J'aime le film français. Le film français. Or je veux améliorer mon français, but it would be a little difficult word for you. Okay. Next is mete au pluriel. Il y a un hibou sur l'arbre. There is an owl on the tree. Il y a would be same. De, I will change to de. Ibu at h i b o u x sur la. You can change arb to plural or you can keep it singular. Because a tree there, uh, our sentences there is a there is an owl on the tree. So there are some owls on the tree or on the trees. It's your wish. How do you want to write? Mon ami lit un journal. So it would be mes amis. Lis. It would be plural. Les journaux. Ok, l'homme donne un signal. Les hommes donnent des signaux. If you don't know <coughs> why are we putting a u, why, why are we putting uh, x instead of s, I think it was in lesson number 2. You can go and check my that video. You will understand. Je organise un carnaval. Nous organisons. I will change to the. Carnaval is an exception. Carnaval with S. Uh, je te porte une chaussure bleue. So it would be vous portez. Des chaussures with S, blur with S. Now, demonstrative. Demonstrative we did in lesson number 9. If you don't know what are demonstrative, go and check that video. And uh, Desh femme chante, bi, chante bien. This lady sings well. Cette femme. J'aime beaucoup rester dans cet hôtel. Cet hôtel. Ces romans sont en français. These novels are in French. Cet ami anglais, this English friend, speaks a little bit French. J'achète cette horloge. I'm buying this clock for my bedroom. These verbs we have just done vivre and uh, venir we have already done but I am telling you how do we conjugate venir verb. Viens, viens for il or elle. For nous it would be vano. Vanir means to come. Vane. Il for il or el, it would be V N V I E N and E N T. Prendre, je prends. P R E N D S. To prend. Il or el prend. Nous prenons. Vous prenez. Il or el prend. Achete. Jachete. Achete means to buy. Tu achete. Il or elle achete. Nous achetons. Vous achetez.
y Laurel H. And the uh, next verb is Shoazir, which is regular IR ending, and Atandr, which is regular RE ending. So Shoazi, Je Shoazi, S, C H O I S I S. But if you want to learn the rules, uh, we have done this in our previous videos. So you can go and check C H O I S I T, C H O I S O I. S I T Shoa Z So Shoa Z Se Is it Shoa Z double S E N T and Atondre is R E ending. We will remove R E and add the endings A T T E N D base S A T T E N D base and S a T T E N D base A T T E N D O N S A T T E N D E Z A T T E N D E N T Describe the image. Okay. So in this image, this is the picture of a living room, and there is a TV, a couch, a study table. Some paintings are hanging on the tr on the wall, and uh, you can see outside there are some cows, and there is so greenery. A cake is kept on the table children are one is playing one child is playing and one kid child is drawing so we can write this thing um, dans cette image dans cette image in this image il y a une famille there is a family Full stop. La famille est dans le salon, in the living room. Les parents, parents, sont sur le canapé, on the couch. A nos fonds joue, is playing. A notre, another, dessine, this draws. It's dessine verb. Il y a une télé. A bureau, bureau means study table or desk. A bureau, yun table, a un canapé and a couch. Dans le salon. Il y a des tableaux, paintings, contre le mur. Le gâteau est sur la table. 
we can see on pouvoir there outside from the window de la fenêtre il y a des vaches there outside there are cows outside or uh, uh, la famille est content the family is happy i love this image chem cette image So this image is done. Now second image. Okay, this is the picture of a park. So in this image, there are some kids who are playing in the park, and uh, some are talking. Uh, grandparents are sitting on the bench. They are taking care of the kids. They are grandkids. Okay. there are many trees okay so no set image il y a de il y a un parc il y a des enfants qui jouent who are playing qui jouent un enfant a child is crying and un enfant pleure p l e u r e it's e r ending verb pleure Les enfants s'amusent. They are having fun. Il y a euh, euh, les grands parents. Sont sur le bon il prenne soin de le they are taking care of their uh, grandchildren en fond il y a des arbres il y a des arbres partout all around de zofon jou le foot football c'est une belle image and now next question this is the last question so this is the end of this book and this chapter also
Thank you very much everyone for watching this video and if this video is helpful for you please don't forget to like the video and subscribe our channel. Thank you so much. Bye. Au revoir.